A week ago it seemed crazy the Cavs wouldn't have the number one seed by the end of the regular season. LeBron and the Cavs annihilated the Celtics in Boston, then the Seas lost in Atlanta the following night, giving Cleveland a game and a half lead for the top seed in the East. But here we are, five days later, the Cavs have lost, lost three in a row, the Celtics have won two in a row, and now it looks like they'll clinch the number one seed. But it almost feels like Cleveland is just handing the top seed to Boston. The Cavs haven't exactly been elite in the defensive effort department over the last couple of weeks, except for when they played Boston. And with a chance to clinch the top seed, Cleveland is choosing to rest LeBron the last two games of the season, and probably Kyrie too. So this is a clear statement from the Cavs, they don't care about the regular season, and they care even less about where they're seated. Cleveland is making a bet they can simply flip a switch when the playoffs start, and they proved last week in Boston they probably can. Even as a Celtics fan praying they'll pay for this in the conference finals, I wouldn't bet against the Cavs because LeBron's been a two seed five times in his career and he made the finals all five times. It's also possible the Cavs want to avoid the Hawks, who recently beat them twice along with the Celtics, but that could pin them against the Raptors in the second round, the sole team in the East to give them a challenge last year in the playoffs. But if Cleveland rolls through the East without at least a six game series, we're going to have to reassess this ridiculously long regular season.